If you don't like the look of the default caption styles that Opus Clip gives you, such as this one, you can now upload your own fonts. To upload your fonts, you just need to head to the asset library here from the home screen. Click this button here to select your font from your computer. Your font will take a second to upload and then we'll show here once it's been added to Opus Clip. You'll then be able to choose the new font that you've uploaded from this drop down here. You'll also see these buttons on the right if you scroll up, top, middle and bottom. As you'll see in the video, if I click them, these move your captions from the bottom to the middle to the top of your video. These three buttons used to be the only way you could move captions. But as you can see from the current caption position being over his face, they didn't always give you the best position for your captions. But now you can move your captions to anywhere you want. To do that, you simply click on the caption and drag it to the position you want. We'll put it a bit higher so it's not over his eyes. But be careful, having your captions too high or too low or too far to the side can mean that they get hidden behind different icons on platforms like TikTok and your viewers won't be able to read them. So make sure you keep your captions in the safe area when moving them in Opus Clip. To do this, just click and move your captions around in a vertical video like this and Opus Clip will show you the safe area by showing this clear space in the middle of the screen that you can see right now. Safe areas are only a problem with videos that have a vertical orientation. So when you're on a horizontal video like this, you'll see that no safe areas show up. But when you're adding captions to a horizontal video like this, you might want your captions to run across more than one line at a time. But you'll see that this option to have your captions run across three lines has been grayed out. That's because having your captions run across multiple lines requires the correct settings to be used. You can only choose the three lines of captions option on a square video or a vertical video. So make sure you're editing in either this square option here or this vertical option here to be able to then scroll down and choose three lines, which will then make your caption run across both two lines and three lines throughout the video. And you'll see now that I've also made those captions bigger. If you want to make your captions bigger, be careful. There's a correct way and an incorrect way of making captions bigger inside Opus Clip. To make captions bigger, most people will click the caption and stretch the captions bigger by dragging one of the corners like this. Don't stretch your captions. This is the incorrect way to make them bigger. Because as you'll see now, if you stretch your captions too far, they just get blurred and lose quality. The alternative correct way to make your captions bigger is to simply do it in this box here. So just type in a bigger value and Opus Clip will then increase the size of your captions without them losing any of their quality. You can see that these captions are just white at the moment. And if you're wondering how to change the color of your captions, most people don't realize that you can apply up to four different colors to captions throughout your video. You change the default base color by just clicking this box here underneath the font selection and choosing a color, let's choose red. If you then switch to bounce mode, an option comes up for you to choose a color that the current word being said is shown in. So it's currently set to green, which you'll see up here. But you can also scroll down and turn on keyword highlighting and Opus Clip will apply two extra colors, which you can see here, to certain words throughout the video. So I'll change the green to pink so we don't get confused between the other green color we're using. So now the caption shows green for the current word being said, red for the other words. And when we reach certain moments, the highlighted keywords show in either yellow or purple. There's the four colors. But what if you don't want every single word to be captioned? Maybe there's a section in your video where you don't want captions to be shown at all. Well, you can actually hide captions for any word that you want. So for example, I'll show you how to hide the word more at this stage of the video. To do that, we just head over to the word we want removed in the transcript over here on the left, click it, and then simply press remove caption. And as you'll see, that word has been swapped out for these three dots to show that it's been hidden. And if we head back over to the video, the word more has been completely removed from the captions. So now you've made changes to the captions, font, size, color, and position 
You might decide that you now don't like the way the captions look. That's fine. You can easily change your captions back to one of the default style presets that you would have seen at the start. To do that, you simply head over to the right, head to select a preset, and all of those caption presets that you would have seen on an earlier screen are here for you to quickly choose again. So let's choose Beastie. And our captions are now back in that Beastie style. And the final tip is you don't need to pay to have Opus Clip caption your videos. Here's a video you should watch next that shows you how to get Opus Clip to caption your videos for free. There's a few criteria you need to be within to do that. So make sure to watch the video to understand how to get that for free. And also after that, make sure to subscribe to this channel for more useful AI videos just like this one. Peace out.